Hi guys, I'm Kush Boo, or you can call me Boo if you see me on the street. <laughs> so I'm currently a floor manager or a restaurant manager in the USA. Um, I currently work in the food and beverage industry. Hi guys, I'm Danica. Uh, I'm an assistant manager. I also work in the food and beverage industry. Why did I start? It's because it's very accessible. A bit for a busy service, um, we would have like shots together as a team and then it would start from there. We would like have like one shot here and then another shot later and then it would just build up to like drinking more and more. So basically um, when I was like 16 to be exact, um, all of my friends they knew about this thing called ladies night and it's like basically free drinks for girls and stuff. So that time, you know, when you're in high school, you don't really have a lot of allowance from your family. So anything free is considered like, wow, pot of gold. So we would go there and then we would, our first drink would be at this bar and it, it would, yeah, start from there. In 2020, I woke up one day and then I couldn't move. And um, I went to the hospital and the doctor said that I had a spinal problem. And I think from there was when I stopped drinking. But my doctor is telling me that alcohol is affecting my health in the long run, that I will not make it to 30, 35. Then that's, of course, just, you know, I have to stop at that point. I was 150 kg, I had high blood, and I had this spinal thing going on. And then my heart was not working as it should be. So it was just like a different time of my life for me. I stopped drinking and I started going gym. I started focusing on my career, focusing on my education, and then now here I am today. Yes. As a manager, like you think like, okay, guests are drinking more, guests are spending more. That's good for our sales. Good for our sales means it's good for the team. So if my staff gets more incentives, if my staff gets more tips, why not, right? Mm -hmm. But also there is other side of us where we're like, we're humans, we have emotions. So of course, if people drink a lot and then you see them like, oh my God, like, I think, she, I think, I think she's like, yeah. Everything. I think she's not well, I think we should do something about it. So mm -hmm. from there, I think this one time, I think I did it in my old restaurant is that we switched the, the vodka with water. <laughs> And the girl was like, very good vodka. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that's good vodka, but it's just water. So that's how we like, that's mm -hmm. how I would be with my team. Like we would just switch something out. Because when you're drunk, you don't know what you're drinking. So we always give in water as a replacement. But you gotta start with your first step is like, you gotta think what you're putting in your body, especially with alcohol, like learn, um, Learn about how much you can drink. There are a certain amount of drinks that you can only intake a day, depending on your age. Mm -hmm. So, and depending if you're male or female, there's also a difference as well. I didn't have anyone to tell me when I was younger. Well, I'm telling you now, like you have support of people all around you. So I think you need to start, you know, voicing out what you feel. If you have any questions or anything, do ask your teachers, do ask people around you to support you in times of need.